What's up? Welcome into your daily Buckeye Blitz for a Thursday. You know it's a thirsty one. January 18th, 2024. I'm your host, Joe, from the Buckeye Cast, bringing it to you. Hey, you probably need to reset things here. We've gotten a ton of new subscribers, so I've, and we have some old subscribers that maybe just aren't up to speed yet, but I want to let you guys know, this is the Daily Buckeye Blitz. Obviously, you get it every day. That's why it's called Daily, right? There you go. Um, even Bama fans might understand that. Um, you guys are the best. Sarcasm. Obviously, you didn't get it. Uh, anyway, then Fridays, we do the Buckeye Rush Hour. That is from 4.30 to 5.30 Eastern on YouTube Live. I also release a podcast version of every show, so you can just listen to it. Um, and then Sunday nights, me, Jeff, and Sean, my my co-pilots, uh, we go at 7.30 p.m. Eastern till 8.30, 9 o'clock, something like that. Uh, YouTube Live as well. Uh, that's Eastern time. And, of course, I'll do the release the audio the next morning. Of, of the show. So just wanted to give you a quick little reset. And we got the video vault coming up. That's going to be all of your recruiting videos. We've got so many recruiting videos. It's going to be your film breakdowns of the 2023 games, all that stuff. And it's going to be easy to operate, navigate. So look for that. Uh, we're working on uh, just minor little technical things here and there, but uh, hopefully launch that in, here in a week. At the most. All right. So today we're talking recruiting. I know that's why you're here. Recruiting updates, recruiting news. What's the latest picks, predictions, crystal balls? Uh, we got the the big edge rushers here, Mathis out of Philly last week. Got his commitment locking up that, that defensive side of the ball for the 2025 class. Huge news. Then in the 24 class, we're still kind of uh, piecing some things together there with Dominic Kirks. Now you got USC kind of in the mix there. So, you know, he's going to have to decide between Ohio State and USC here in the next couple of weeks. Um, the last signing day is, what, the first Wednesday, February 7th? I think it's my wife's birthday. Sorry, hon. Got to pay attention to recruiting shit all day. Don't have time for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, we also got, we got a junior day. Coming up this weekend, basically, um, it's the uh, the first junior day of the, the season, um, so you're gonna have some big, big names on campus. Uh, I'll, I'll run through the list here. You got 2025s and 2026s. Uh, 25s are the big focus right now. I'm gonna double check my list here when I'm done, make sure I didn't miss anybody. This is ever evolving. Obviously, it's changing. Weather is gonna, you know, probably keep some guys from making it in. And then there's other guys that might pop in that, that can make the drive. So here's our first junior day of the season. 2025, Ohio quarterback, Tavian St. Clair, current Buckeye commit, will be there. 2025, Ohio running back, Marquise Davis, would love to get a commitment out of him, um, will be there. Uh, 2025, Ohio wide receiver Preston Bowman will be there. 2025, Oklahoma tight end Nate Roberts. We're going to talk about him in a minute. Uh, when we get to the crystal ball action. Uh, 2025, Ohio linebacker Eli Lee, current commit. 2025, Maryland corner Lake Woodby, current commit, will be there. 2025, Ohio defensive back Cody Haddad will be there. And then our 2026s, we've got Tennessee QB Jared Curtis, already has a crystal ball to the Buckeyes, by the way. Uh, he'll be there. 2026 Ohio wide receiver Peyton Cook. 2026 Ohio offensive lineman Will Conroy. 2026 Ohio offensive lineman Sam Greer. 2026 Ohio offensive lineman Maxwell Riley. And 2026 offensive line uh, Ohio defensive back Albert Hill will be there. Now, let me go back here and double check my list. Okay. I like to compare different sites and make sure I've got the most up-to-date list according to different people. Uh, oh, Sincere Johnson. Sweet name, by the way. Um, he will be there. He is He is from Cleveland Glenville. He's a 2026 edge rusher, linebacker, 6'4", 225. So look for Sincere. Um, who else do we have here? 
Yeah, Jared Curtis, we mentioned, Maxwell Riley, Sam Greer, Will Conroy. All right, those guys are all going to be there. And should probably do a rundown of where these guys are from. All right. Let's get through some crystal balls here. I'll run through uh, where these guys are from. Nate Roberts, wanted to talk about him because I mentioned him. He will be on campus. He is uh, from Oklahoma. He's a tight end. <clears throat> He's a high four-star, 9536 from Washington, Oklahoma. He has three crystal ball predictions in for the Buckeyes. Number four tight end in the class. Uh, he's a 106, number 106 overall. So he's gotten offers from everybody, Alabama, Oregon, Oklahoma, obviously. So uh, that's a huge one. He's got, yeah, most recent crystal ball came in on Thursday. Dominic Kirks. Uh, just got another crystal ball in on Thursday to the Buckeyes. That's from Steve Wilfong. Uh, the big one that I'm looking for here is Dorian Brew, the corner. He'll probably end up playing safety. He's already 6'2", 185, you know, going into uh, – he's in the middle of his junior year. Uh, he, he's the one that moved, made the move from Ohio down to Conroe, Texas. Uh, he's just like 30 minutes away from uh, the Sanchez family. So they've gotten to see him a lot. He's He's got a close relationship with Devin. So you, you can be sure that they're talking Buckeyes. Uh, he's a five-star. Dorian Brew, the five-star. Pass me another Brew. Nine, he's a 9875, uh, nationally ranked number 20 player in the class, number four corner, number six player in Texas. Of course, he has offers from anybody that matters. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, Bo Jackson. I wanted to talk about Bo Jackson since we're talking about 2025, guys. Yeah. Um, I love it when the links don't work to the 24-7 site. That just makes me ecstatic. Uh, anyways, he is a four-star, 6'1", 190. He's from uh, Cleveland. He's gotten another crystal ball in uh, just this week. So that, that should be a few. One, two, two crystal balls for Dorian Brew to the Buckeyes. Wait, we were talking Bo Jackson. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, three crystal balls for Dorian. Crystal balls for Bo Jackson. I have one. Is that right? Yeah, just one so far. So uh, if 24-7 uh, ever unfucks their site, I could give you more information. But uh, sorry. He's a stud. We want him. We need him. We need two running backs at least in this class. So um, please, please do not go to South Florida. Tony, I'm telling you. Tony, do not do it. Um, anyways, uh, back to Dorian Brew. He will have his he, – he is committing on January 24th, his top four. And – Oh, Carter Lowe is going to be committing soon. He is the old lineman out of Toledo Whitmer. He is a high four star. You know what? Let's just load up all these uh, offers. Yeah. So let's look at these offensive linemen. Yeah. Carter Lowe. Jeez. We're having a rough one today, folks. How's 24-7 site just break all the time? How's that How's that happen? Anyway. Carter Lowe, four-star, Toledo Whitmer, 6'5", 290. You can see where the Buckeyes are focusing a lot of their offensive line recruiting. Everybody I just named, like half of that list for the junior day, uh, O-lineman, Will Conroy, Sam Greer, Maxwell Riley, and now, you know, talking here about Carter Lowe in the 25 class. He's a 9594, number 85 player overall, number nine tackle, number three player in the great state of Ohio. Three crystal balls in for the Buckeyes. So we're just waiting for him to um, pick a date when he's going to commit. Um, he's got offers from everybody Georgia, Bama, Tennessee, uh, the Cheaters, you name it. So, that's what we got coming up as far as recruiting goes. Um, 
I'm, I'll keep you up to date. Probably um, we'll talk about recruiting more on the uh, Friday show, the Friday live show at 430. So check me out there. We'll have any updates because I'm sure this list is going to be changing. It would be nice if they could get some more dudes uh, on campus for that day, that weekend. So that's all I got for you today. Talk to you tomorrow. Go Bucks.